What is up Nephilim? This is the Chig coming at you with another D3 build guide. Today we're going to be talking about probably the second best bounty farming build in the game. Uh, but before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget we're having a giveaway when we hit a thousand subscribers. Um, get your copy of D4, for free. How you enter is you got to be a subscriber to the channel. And if you like and comment on any of my D3 guides, each like and comment will get you a entry into the giveaway. So like and comment often and you will be hopefully, hopefully getting a free copy of the game. Um, if you already pre-ordered it or anything, I will get you something else if you are the winner. So don't worry about that. Otherwise, let's hop right into it. This is the speed bounty version of the Gears of the Dreadland set, the G.O.D. set. Um, so we are wearing five pieces to make room for the Depth Diggers. The two set gain four seconds of momentum when attacking with the primary skill. Max duration of 20 seconds. Your primary skill is still 10% increased damage per stack of momentum. You want to have this as close to 20 as possible at all times. Four set, strafing against enemies will automatically shoot your last used primary skill and will give you 60% damage reduction while strafing for five seconds after. While strafing, you gain 8% increased movement speed for each stack of momentum. We are going to be going crazy. Um, six set, your primary skills deal 27,500% increased damage. And our main damaging ability is a primary skill. We're using Squirt's Necklace. While not taking damage, damage dealt is increased by up to 100%, damage taken by up to 50%. We are using Wraps of Clarity. This is basically our only toughness thing for the bounty build. Um, your hatred generators reduce your damage taken by 49%. We are using Hunter's Wrath. This is the belt that gives your primary skills faster attack rate and increased damage. We are using Rochelle's Ring of Larceny. Um, whenever an enemy is feared, you run faster. Um, we have fear on hit. We're going to be getting little short bursts of speed on occasion. Um, it's not up all the time, but it is a free bonus. Uh, we have depth diggers to make our primary skills deal additional damage. I accidentally disenchanted my good ones, so I had to reroll some bad ones a couple of times. Um, this is what I got. Um, and then we've got the elusive ring, which is going to be our second toughness item after, um, Casting shadow power smoke screen or vault you take less damage. So That is just what we're doing We have Yang's recurve in this build and the reason being the only reason we're using this is for the resource cost reduction Because we are going to be wanting to keep up shadow power as much as possible We are just trying to go as fast as we possibly possibly can and having the 50% reduced cooldown reduction is going to be letting us spam stuff and it's going to keep us going crazy 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 good all right and then we have the ninth series satchel which is what makes the build work for the most part hungering arrow is guaranteed to pierce and also deals 577 percent increased damage it can roll up to 600 um, but can only pierce four times so it limits the number of pierces but increases the damage that you deal so the gems we're using we want a big cooldown gem our biggest stat in this build is cooldown. You need to try to have Vengeance up as close to 100% of the time as you possibly can. That is just the biggest, biggest, biggest thing. Um, I'm not entirely sure I'm at the threshold to have 100% with this particular setup, but I don't die, so it's kind of like a moot point. Um, and then you want diamonds in your gear for the defenses. We have Tyguk because it gives us armor and more damage. We have Wreath of Lightning, literally for the move speed. We are trying to zoom. And then Simplicity Strength is the biggest um, buff. Uh, it gives us increased damage. And as long as we don't get one tapped, we will go back to full HP almost immediately when our skills hit. So that's the thing. We've got Dawn in the cube. Um, Reduces the cooldown of Vengeance by 65%. Like I said, cooldown is the biggest thing. Dawn is the most important item in this build. Orzeki and Arm Guards for the movement speed. Every time you break something, the way this build works, you're always breaking things all of the time. Um, and then Ring of Royal Grandeur so we can have the five set here. Um, so yeah, we're doing that. We're going crazy. Um, so we're using smoke screen. We don't really use this that much. There's just nothing else better to put here um, That's if your defenses aren't real good. You can be using that to keep yourself alive 
Um, Shadow Power, we're using this for the movement speed. Um, I mean, it gives you back some healing, but we really don't care. We just need it for the movement speed. Hungering Arrow, Devouring Arrow. That's the best rune for Hungering Arrow, so we're using that. Strafe. Just strafing. Going crazy. Um, the Dark Heart rune for Vengeance, because that's going to be our main source of damage reduction. And then Preparation to get back our discipline so we can use shadow power more and keep it going keep it going keep it going um we typically don't run out of discipline in this build because of yangs so it's not that big a deal i would recommend making your yangs primal if you can um, just like in the other version of the build i recommend making dawn primal um, we are using awareness just in case we get one tapped sometimes it does happen tactical advantage is going to be giving us movement speed extra um, when we're using our shadow power, so shadow power is actually double dipping on that ambush increased damage to enemies above 75% HP We're gonna be one-shotting things and then hot pursuit increased damage uh, Increased movement speed rather by 20% when you damage an enemy So I'm gonna go ahead and open this game to public and see if anybody joins me, but I'm gonna show you some of the bounties all right, so bang 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 and then you go right um the whole purpose of the build is to keep up shadow power and your vengeance as much as you can um it's super easy you can basically count down how long it takes for your shadow power just keep it up when you can and then your vengeance same kind of thing um Honestly, with Vengeance, you can just put it on a keybind that you can just push and then just keep pushing the button, right? Um, that way you don't even have to worry about it. Um, you will never miss if you're spamming the button. Alright, so there's the first bounty. Super easy, barely an inconvenience. Let's go do another one. Kill Captain Cage. Alright, but you can see how fast this is. I will let, I will let the video run until... Um, I'm done with Act 1, and then I'll help them out. Actually, just stay for the whole set. It doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, so you play this exactly the same. Make sure you're keeping up 20 stacks of momentum, and just use it for the move speed. Use it for the extra damage. Keep up your um, discipline as much as you can. You don't necessarily have to keep up um, preparation when it's on cooldown. Um just make sure you're doing what you can to keep it up when you can, right? So, um, go ahead and just keep up shadow power as much as you can and just run around. Um, that's the big thing is just keeping up your buffs is the most important thing. Um, if you haven't seen any of my T16 videos before, which I'm sure some of you have, I only pick up legendaries if they are primals because otherwise I don't really need them. Um, you know, most of my gear is pristine for the most part, so I don't really worry about it. What is that person doing? Um, taking their time, it would appear. Anyway, um, but yeah, we're we're finishing out Act One here, going to kill the butcher. I really enjoy doing bounties on this build. This is my second favorite bounty build. Um, my favorite bounty build, of course, is the other one I made a video about. I don't think I'm going to do any more bounty builds because, if nothing else, make a god DH or a in a monk just for the bounties. They are that much better at bounties than everything else that it's 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 honestly not even worth not having one. Um, it's so easy to level up and so easy to get everything done that just make one of those classes for bounties. You will not be disappointed. Um, and you see how fast we're just deleting everything. It's fun, it's fast, it's effective. Um, so let's go to Act 3. Um, I like targeting the kill groups of mobs. Um, bounties with this build just because it it clears the screen so easily so quickly right i like um hey wait look we got a treasure goblin i thought it was a jelly gobbo so i went back out to get it but it was not 
Um, but yeah, I like doing that um, mostly because of the way it clears, right? Like the the bounties that clear the or the builds that clear the screens are better for these than you know some of the other builds. Um, I also really enjoy on the other build for the um, for the monk. I like using it for boss bounties, and the reason I like using it for boss bounties is because of its mobility. You get to literally just dash indefinitely with that build, right? So you can get um, to the bosses faster than anybody else. Um, if you haven't seen that video yet, oh man, go watch it. It is obscenely fast. Um, I do a demonstration of running to um, Siege Breaker on Act 3, which is a, a fairly long run if you've ever had to run it. But the way that build works, you just, you can get there in just a couple of seconds. It's amazing. Like, it, you get there so incredibly quickly that, like, it, it's crazy. I've had people on that bounty before, like, three quarters of the way to the boss, I teleport to the waypoint and I still beat them to the boss because of how fast it is. I was doing some with my buddy and um, he was on his way over there and I ran past him. I was like, hey man, uh, we were talking in Discord or whatever and I was like, so what's up? He's like, bro, I didn't even see your character. I just saw the waves from your uh, mystic allies and then the boss started. I was like, yeah, that's uh, that's how the, the build works, bro. Um can't really say anything. He was like, yeah, that's that's insane. I was like, I know, it's awesome, isn't it? He was like, yeah, and then he made a demon hunter, or, or uh, a monk, because why would you not make a monk? It's amazing. Um, well, these guys need to, there we go, there it is. All right, so let's go ahead and get our stacks up. Um, when you're playing this build, like, literally, the, the, the key is keeping up your stacks, keeping up your buffs, keeping up your... Just keep up your buffs. That's literally all you got to do. Um, and then these guys... I got a slow group. I'm sorry. I'm just going to keep rambling and recording until... Um, until the... Uh, the bounties are done, guys. I'm sorry, not sorry. Um, I don't think I've ever done this bounty. Um, one thing I will mention, though is to be careful with the um, other bounty build because if you teleport through something that the pathing is different, um, I learned yesterday that you can glitch out some of the, um, oh, I've never, I've literally never been in this building. This is cool. Um, you can glitch out some of the, um, um, Bounties. I had one that um, the mob teleported to the top of a tower and was out of bounds. So, yeah, uh, it was it was bizarre. It was it was the weirdest. Like, just I was like, okay, this is this is strange. I don't understand. And like, I teleported around him. I went like everywhere I could. He was literally out of bounds. So like, I couldn't do anything. And it was it was so frustrating because I had already done all the other bounties, I had already done everything else, I'd just be careful when you're doing, when you're doing, uh, when you are doing the bounties, make sure you don't, like, teleport to a weird spot, or do something faster than you should, like, what happened there was you're supposed to climb this, uh, like, set of, like, switchback steps up, right, and, I teleported to the top immediately instead of climbing. So he just didn't go. Like he, he teleported to the top after I did instead of running to the top and summoning his dudes. And he glitched out. He got stuck behind a wall. I couldn't hit him. Like, I mean, I could hit him with my skills. Like it was showing damage numbers and everything. But he was staying full HP, so it was incredibly frustrating, um, so just be careful with some of that stuff when you're doing it, otherwise, meh, it's fine, um, 
And then we are watching the minimap. I don't know if I've done this one either. Yeah, I've done this. I've done this bounty before. All right, come on, Sork. Let's go. Um, also, if you're still watching this, um, let me know what class you're planning on playing in D4. I am so freaking excited about playing some D4 and getting everything done. And just, man, it's going to be incredible. I am so ready. Um, as you guys know, I, I've... Well, I mean, I guess you may not know this, but I've had, uh, I've just had jobs where I couldn't really focus on any of my hobbies and, like, you know, making videos and stuff, and I'm just having a ton of fun doing this, and it's just been, it's been incredible, and the support's been great. I've been enjoying seeing you guys, you know, hang out on the channel and seeing all the stuff. Uh, anyway, yeah, that's, that's the bounty build. We're done. Um, there's our ten boxes. What's up? Anyway, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget we're having the giveaway, and, uh, Go get those legendaries.